Hello friends, uh, this is the new plugin I was talking about I created for, for Pango. So to use this plugin, first you need to add it, so go to file. Before starting any new project, just click on file. Go to manage and manage libraries and plugins. And then here, you're going to click on load plugin and browse button. Then you have to... Uh, go to the folder where you have copied so i have copied it in pango folder and pg to this design previous design and auto load js file this file pg auto load blocks.js and then open it and click on add click ok and this one you will see is added here click close and now when you click on new page plain html any html you can select from here so i'm going to select plain html as there could be a risk of jquery conflict with bootstrap 3.37 so i'm going to use plain html to explain you explain it to you so here is our you will not see anything here and in the WS box you will see it's activated so I just click page and you will find load PWS blocks menu which is not here by default it only will come when this plugin is active like this I deactivate it and then this one will not work so I activate it and close it and this and then I will click load PWS blocks click and it says successfully now refresh library click on components go and refresh load libraries and there you see PWS blocks which I have created by default you can drag and drop any but before you do that you must save this file so that it will take effect so I will save it on desktop with PWS blocks folder just I name in click save yes reload so it will be loaded here in the project panel now again you need to go once for here and click on resources and click here close close and refresh page and if you see this background color it means the plugin is properly activated and is functioning so now go to lib section and select any element like uh, suppose I want to add navigation here I will drop and you see navigation and then I want to add a pricing table and sorry pricing I will use this and here it's the pricing table then I will add here three images over effects one two three and then I can add a testimonial section here and this is testimonial one and then I can get a, a profile here this now I will delete this one and you have your blocks so this is basically first part of you can preview it sorry you can preview here and you can see it is working you see and our everything is working no hover effect no hover effect here we have here we have you can customize it as you need like if you want to change the background color for this one just select all ally here there is two allies 
basically yeah this one this is complete ally or maybe you will and then ally this is basically two when you hover over here it shows uh, the other one so just you know, I have some added options so like I want to change this color so I have some quick panel here added block option PWS code box so I will do silver so you see the color is changed to silver so you can change here sunflower and eh, whatever even you can change background color here clouds you see if you completely change the background color here clouds yeah here yeah. so this is basically now the question is how you gonna add new snippets so that is also possible to add new snippet I'm going to close this project and I will open file and then I will go to my PWS design and then here is a template and this is a template or HTML open it it will have all the snippets here so you can put your new snippet here but the thing is you need to add the class snippet and you must give it a name as well data name is a property like if you want to see the edit code and you see here data name this data name will be used will be used so you can add here any block of code like this and it will it will work and then you can save that and again when you close and reload it will let's see you need to add the CSS and GS related to that code as well here you need to add everything so I hope you understand what is the purpose of this plugin thank you for watching